<laughs> okay, hi. <laughs> My name is Greg Owen, and I'm Randall's younger brother, and I've had the honor of being his best man tonight. So first off, I'd like to thank uh, Katie's parents, Pat and Andy, and my parents, Michelle, Richard, and Roxanne, for raising two awesome people. <laughs> you know, making this whole day possible. And I'd like to express my gratitude for you know everybody that was involved. So the church, the DJ, the Edmonton, the catering, and all that. Um, finally, I'd like to you know say thanks to all you guys for coming out and making this day special for these two guys, guy and gal. Um, <laughs> so basically, yeah, when I was preparing this speech, I was trying to decide, you know, what tone it should be delivered in, so I was trying to think, you know, should I be happy or funny or embarrassing or something like that, and uh, so basically I asked Randall's opinion on what, you know, tone I should give it in, and his only really response was, don't suck, so, uh, you know, can't make any promises, he set the bar for a bit low. <laughs> so, natural starting point for the speech would basically I would be normally for you know to say how Randall and Katie met, and I was you know terrified when I realized that I couldn't actually remember how they met. <laughs> but, but then you know I kind of realized that I had you know the same feeling for Katie that I had for Randall. So it's like, I don't really remember my first memories of my brother, he was just kind of like always there in my life, so and I realized that's kind of how I felt the same about Katie, and uh, just to kind of give you guys an example about just how much she's been in our family so far, is uh, I'm going to let you guys in on a family secret, um, on my dad's side of the family, all of our cousins have a favorite cousins list, and, and uh, so if you know cousins have been mean to you, they go down, and if they are nice to you, then they go up. So you know, it's a competition for who can be the favorite cousin. And, and uh, so Randall, sometimes he's on the top, but sometimes not much. He usually has to, you know, bribe his way in or do some sort of favor and uh, to counteract what he normally does. And uh, in one point, the low point, I think last year, he was in 9 million place. That's <laughs> uh, Yeah. But, you know, anytime that Katie's been with us, she's always been favorite cousin. Un undisputed. Just always. Been at it for years. And uh, so, yeah, even though it's been made official today, she's always been part of our life. And uh, so basically, over the years, I've seen uh, Randall and Katie's love grow you know, deeper and deeper. And I haven't seen really any more devoted couple than you guys. So uh, Randall, uh, Randall thinks about Katie more. He puts her first basically in every aspect of his life. So whether it's you know an important decision <laughs> or you know, even just you know daily activities or even in like board games or card games, he's always, you know, on our team and beating us. And uh, so in addition to being, you know, uncanny, you know, loyal to her, he's also the most reliable person that I've ever met. So, you know, throughout my life, basically, I've been to, I've asked, you know, Randall with advice or just help in any situation. And uh, even though, you know, gives me grief about it and, you know, rags on me. It always, you know, comes through in the end and, you know, helps me when I actually need it. So it will be there when you need it. So I know that Katie's in good hands when, if anything comes along. And likewise, Randall's also good in Katie's hands because Randall's a notorious fan of winging it and uh, it doesn't just work out. So I know that Katie's always a big, uh, planner and she'll, you know, she'll make a good plan, set a goal, and then achieve it and stick to that plan. So no matter with, you know, with your reliability and your diligence, basically, <laughs> you'll be able to accomplish anything. And so then, you know, although actions speak louder than words, it's not just, you know, conscious actions that uh, have made me realize how true you guys' love is. So the final kind of last straw that broke the camel's back for uh, to make me know that you guys were gonna be together forever. It was just when I would come home for a visit or some come home like late at night and I would just 
find you two like passed out on the couch, just <laughs> holding each other, just you know, you'd fall asleep watching TV and stuff, but you're just so peaceful and it's like you fit perfectly and you're basically two matching puzzle pieces that fit just interlocked together, just like you're one piece. So so I you know, that's it. I'd like to propose a toast <laughs> to uh, Randall Katie. No just a couple deserves this more than you two. And I wish you nothing but the best as you embark on this new journey. May your love go stronger and stronger every year. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.